What vitamins and minerals do I need? Vitamins are organic compounds your body needs to perform all of its essential functions, like growing tissues, regulating metabolism and maintaining a healthy immune system. Sometimes, the word vitamins is also used as a colloquial reference to minerals, fatty acids, amino acids, and the 13 actual vitamins humans require, of course. So I'll keep it inclusive with a list of vitamins and compounds your body needs. Vitamin A one type comes from animal sources of food. It helps you see at night, make red blood, cells, and fight off infections. The other type is in plant foods. It helps prevent damage to cells and an eye problem called age-related macular degeneration. Eat orange veggies and fruits like sweet potato and cantaloupe, spinach and other greens, dairy foods, and seafoods such as shrimp and salmon. Some research suggests that having more than an average of 1.5 mg micrograms, a day of vitamin A over many years may affect your bones, making them more likely to fracture when you're older. Vitamin B1, thiamine. It helps your body turn food into energy. It's also key for the structure of brain cells, legumes, like black beans and lentils, and seeds are go-to sources. Pork and whole grains are also good. Most people get enough thiamine from the foods they eat, but pregnant and breastfeeding women need a little more. People with diabetes tend to have low levels of it. Thiamine cannot be stored in the body, so you need it in your diet every day. Vitamin B2, riboflavin. You could get enough for the day from a good breakfast. It's added to many fortified breads and grain products and also found naturally in eggs, asparagus and other green veggies, and milk. UV light can destroy riboflavin, so ideally these foods should be kept out of direct sunlight. Your cells need it to work right, and it might help prevent migraines. It gets its name from the Latin word flavus for yellow, a lot of B2 will turn your pea a bright color. Vitamin B3, Niacin. This is a family of compounds that your body needs to turn food into energy and store it. It helps protect your skin and tissues too, and may improve your cholesterol levels. 3 ounces of canned tuna is nearly all you'll need in a day. Or serve up some chicken, turkey, salmon, or other lean meats. You're vegan? Eat cremini mushrooms, peanuts, and peanut butter. Taking high doses of nicotinic acid supplements can cause skin flushes. Taking high doses for a long time could lead to liver damage. Vitamin B6 Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxin, helps the body to use and store energy from protein and carbohydrates in food. It also helps the body form hemoglobin, the substance in red blood cells that carries oxygen around the body. This vitamin plays a role in more than 100 different reactions in your body. Some research has shown that B6 may help protect against memory loss, colorectal cancer, and PMS. It's found in many kinds of foods, including leafy and root vegetables. Non-citrus fruits like bananas, avocados, and watermelon. Legumes. And fish, poultry, and lean meat. Taking 200 mg or more a day of vitamin B6 can lead to a loss of feeling in the arms and legs known as peripheral neuropathy. Vitamin B12 Rev up before hitting the gym with a snack like a hard-boiled egg or cereal with vitamins added. B12 helps your body break down food for energy. Some athletes and trainers take supplements before workouts, but these don't really boost your success if you're getting enough in your meals. But as vitamin B12 is not found naturally in foods such as fruit, vegetables and grains, vegans may not get enough of it. A lack of vitamin B12 could lead to vitamin B12 deficiency anemia. Vitamin C Despite claims made by some over-the-counter remedies, it doesn't prevent colds. But once you have symptoms, drink orange or grapefruit juice to help yourself stay hydrated. Your symptoms may not go away any sooner, but staying hydrated can help you feel better while your symptoms run their course. 
your body also needs vitamin C to help your bones, skin, and muscles grow. You'll get enough by including bell peppers, papaya, strawberries, broccoli, cantaloupe, leafy greens, and other fruits and veggies in your diet. Taking large amounts, more than 1,000 mg per day, of vitamin C can cause stomach pain, diarrhea, and flatulence. Lack of vitamin C can lead to scurvy. Calcium. This mineral helps concrete harden. Its strength makes it the building block for your bones and teeth. It's also key to make muscles move, including your heart. Get calcium from milk, cheese, yogurt, and other dairy foods, and from green vegetables like kale and broccoli. How much you need depends on your age and sex. Check with your doctor about whether you should take a supplement. Taking high doses of calcium more than 1,500 mg a day could lead to stomach pain and diarrhea. A lack of calcium could lead to a condition called rickets in children and osteomalacia or osteoporosis in later life. Chromium. You only need a trace amount of this mineral, which is believed to help keep your blood sugar level steady. Most adults easily get enough by eating foods like broccoli, English, muffins, and garlic. You may see chromium supplements that promise to help you lose weight, but there's no scientific evidence to back up those claims. Vitamin D. Like calcium, it keeps your bones strong and helps your nerves carry messages. It also plays a role in fighting germs. Careful time in the sun, 10 to 15 minutes on a clear day without sunscreen, is the best source. Or you could eat fish such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel. There's a little in egg yolks too. You can also get milk and sometimes, orange juice with added vitamin D. A lack of vitamin D can lead to bone deformities such as rickets in children, and bone pain caused by a condition called osteomalacia in adults. Vitamin E. It's something called an antioxidant, which protects your cells from damage caused by cigarette smoke, pollution, sunlight, and more. Vitamin E also helps your cells talk to each other and keeps blood moving. Sunflower seeds and nuts including almonds, hazelnuts, and peanuts are good sources. If you're allergic to those, vegetable oils like safflower and sunflower, spinach, and broccoli have vitamin E too. Folic Acid Folate is a B vitamin found in many foods. The man-made form of folate is called folic acid. Folate is also known as folicin and vitamin B9. Folate helps the body form healthy red blood cells. It reduces the risk of birth defects called neural tube defects, such as spina bifida. In unborn babies a lack of folate could lead to folate deficiency anemia. For moms to be, it's a must. It helps make DNA and prevent spina bifida and other brain birth defects. Asparagus, Brussels sprouts, dark leafy greens, oranges and orange juice, and legumes, beans, peas, and lentils are rich in folic acid. Your doctor may want you to take a supplement too. Vitamin K. You need it for blood clotting and healthy bones. People who take warfarin, A, blood thinner, have to be careful about what they eat, because vitamin K stops the drug from working. A serving of leafy greens, like spinach, kale, or broccoli, will give you more than enough K for the day. A Japanese dish called natto, made from fermented soybeans, has even more. Iodine Your thyroid uses iodine to make hormones that control metabolism. The first symptom of A deficiency is usually a goiter. A lump in your neck caused by an enlarged thyroid gland. It's rare in the US, largely because iodine is added to table salt. Other top sources include fish and seaweed. Too much iodine can be harmful though, and supplements interact with the medications. Iron. When your levels are low, your body doesn't make enough healthy red blood cells. And, without them, you can't get oxygen to your tissues. Women who are pregnant or have heavy menstrual cycles are most likely to have anemia, the medical name for when you don't have enough iron in your blood. Keep up your levels with beans and lentils, liver, 
oysters, and spinach. Many breakfast cereals have a day's worth added. Even dark chocolate with at least 45% cacao has some. A lack of iron can lead to iron deficiency anemia. Women who lose a lot of blood during their monthly period, heavy periods, are at higher risk of iron deficiency anemia and may need to take iron supplements. Side effects of taking high doses, over 20 mg, of iron include constipation, feeling sick, stomach pain. Very high doses of iron can be fatal, particularly if taken by children, so always keep iron supplements out of the reach of children. Magnesium. This mineral plays a role in making your muscles squeeze and keeping your heart beating. It helps control blood sugar and blood pressure, make proteins and DNA, and turn food into energy. You'll get magnesium from almonds, cashews, spinach, soybeans, avocado, and whole grains. Potassium. You may think of bananas, but green leafy veggies are a better source of this mineral. It helps keep your blood pressure in a normal range, and it helps your kidneys work. Levels that are too low or too high could make your heart and nervous system shut down. You should also watch your salt, because your body needs the right balance of sodium and potassium. Snack on raw cantaloupe, carrots, and tomatoes too. But older people may be more at risk of harm from potassium because their kidneys may be less able to remove potassium from the blood. Older people should not take potassium supplements unless advised to by a doctor. Selenium It does a lot of things, like fighting off infections and helping your thyroid gland work. Most Americans get enough from what they eat, including meat, bread, and eggs. Too much selenium causes selenosis, a condition that, in its mildest form, can lead to loss of hair and nails. Zinc Without it, you couldn't taste and smell. Your immune system needs it, and it helps cuts, scrapes, and sores heal. It may help you keep your sight as you get older. Well, you can get zinc from plant sources like sesame and pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, lentils, and cashews. It's easier for your body to absorb it from animal foods, such as oysters, beef, crab, lobster, and pork. Taking high doses of zinc reduces the amount of copper the body can absorb. This can lead to anemia and weakening of the bones. Beta-carotene Beta-carotene gives yellow and orange fruit and vegetables their color. It's turned into vitamin A in the body, so it can perform the same jobs in the body as vitamin A. The main sources of beta-carotene are yellow and green, leafy, vegetables, such as spinach, carrots and red peppers, yellow fruit, such as mango, papaya and apricots. There's no evidence the beta-carotene we get from food is harmful. But beta-carotene supplements have been found to increase the risk of lung cancer in people who smoke or have been heavily exposed to asbestos at work. Phosphorus Phosphorus is a mineral that helps build strong bones and teeth, and helps release energy from food. Phosphorus is found in many foods. Good sources include red meat, dairy foods, fish, poultry, bread, brown rice, oats. Taking high doses of phosphorus supplements for a short time can cause diarrhea or stomach pain. Taking high doses for a long time can reduce the amount of calcium in the body, which means bones are more likely to fracture. Molybdenum Molybdenum helps make and activate some of the proteins involved in chemical reactions, enzymes, that help with repairing and making genetic material. Molybdenum is found in a wide variety of foods. Foods that grow above ground tend to be higher in molybdenum than foods that grow below the ground, such as potatoes or carrots. There's some evidence to suggest taking molybdenum supplements might cause joint pain. Manganese Manganese helps make and activate some of the enzymes in the body. Enzymes are proteins that help the body carry out chemical reactions, such as breaking down food. Manganese is found in a variety of foods, including bread, nuts, breakfast cereals especially, whole grain, green vegetables, such as peas. 
Taking high doses of manganese for long periods of time might cause muscle pain, nerve damage and other symptoms, such as fatigue and depression. Copper Copper helps produce red and white blood cells, trigger the release of iron to form homoglobin, the substance that carries oxygen around the body. It's also thought to be important for infant growth, brain development, the immune system and strong bones. Good sources of copper include nuts, shellfish and offal. Taking high doses of copper could cause stomach pain, sickness, diarrhea and damage to the liver and kidneys if taken for a long time. Vitamins and minerals are essential nutrients because they perform hundreds of roles in the body. There is a fine line between getting enough of these nutrients which is healthy, and getting too much, which can end up harming you. Eating a healthy diet remains the best way to get sufficient amounts of the vitamins and minerals you need.